as you can see here, I have a data set that basically has some re revenue information for each location. And we have some blank spots here, some nulls. Now, uh, from a data normalization uh, perspective, this isn't necessarily bad, but I want to demonstrate to you one of the pitfalls that uh, having nulls in your data set can have, especially when you're talking about uh, numbers and things that you're going to uh, do mathematical formulas on. So let's go ahead and do a query. We're going to query basically all of the revenues from across the product lines, A, B, C, and D, for each location. So I've built my query basically saying for every location, I've created a column that says total sales, and I put the formula A plus B plus C plus D. So I'm just basically saying add A, B, C, and D together. Now, when I run it, uh, what I get is I get a good number for all of these guys except for the ones that had null in one of the columns, column B. Now, why is that? Here's what's happening. Access is taking all of your variables and doing some sort of mathematical equation to get your answer. Now, when one of the variables is not a number or an integer, uh, then what happens is Access basically says, I can't do this because one of your variables isn't, which null is not. Uh, so it just basically skips it and doesn't do anything with it. But there is something that you can do to stop it from doing that, and it's called the NZ function. What the NZ function basically does is it basically tells access that when you encounter a null, replace that null with something. Now, in this particular NZ function, I replaced it with zero. The comma zero is what I'm replacing it with. Um, zero is what I'm replacing it with. And I could put anything in here I want. I could put NA, I can put um, DIV, I can put 9, 10, it doesn't matter. But I want to basically tell access that when it encounters a, a null, count it as zero. What that does is it basically says A plus B plus C plus D, and when there's a null, uh, count B as zero. Now when I run my query, I get no mistakes.